morning everyone i thought i would do a quick video on pruning and looking after our tomatoes right i've got a lot as you can see and then more over there anyway what we're going to do we're going to start with you want to take all of these that grow in the middle off so i've got another one there i do this really regularly so i actually don't have too many on mine there's a big one see so uh, these take all the nutrients out of your tomato plants also what you want to do is cut kind of the fur all the leaves off the first foot of the plant which i done these the other day so i can't show you how to do those um these also drain all the nutrients it helps me as well because it means i can get to my plants that are at the back much easier um, to look after them and to feed them so I'm just going to go along. Now, to be honest, I shouldn't have too many because I do it every couple of days. I shouldn't have too many sprouting. Um, dun, dun, dun. I am going to, I've done a bit of upcycling this morning. You'll see that on my, I've posted a picture because what you'll end up with is this one here. Can you see? It's double sprouted and we don't want that ideally but you'll end up with these massive big ones further up your tree and you don't want that here's another one can you see it's also a good chance to weed because i get loads of weeds coming through and they drive me potty here's another one there and there Here's a big one, that one there. In fact, you should only have to do this every couple of days. And what you need is a good compost underneath and a good tomato feeder. Here's my new little upcycled protein tubs. The only reason I'm doing this video is because I was out looking at them this morning and I saw this one over here had quite a lot on. And they've grown really quick. So you need to keep on top of them because otherwise you end up spending hours and hours and hours doing this and you don't want to. It should just be a quick job. And da -da -da. There we go and we're done. And a good feed as well. And I found this feed the other week and I'm actually quite impressed with it. I think it's 2 99 or 3 99 3 litres. I get it in, I got mine in Home Bargains and there's no need to mix it. It is literally, you pour straight on around the root. It says a cap full, but I just judge, I just guess. And you just pour it straight around the root. I just find it so much easier than having to go around with a watering can. I got, to be fair, I go through one of these a week. Well one of these every couple of feeds. Because I've got so many plants. But yeah, Home Bargains, I think the three litre one is 2 99 or 3 99 I will check later when I come. And that's all you do. You just pour it at the base. It's so simple and it's so much quicker. And I always do this before I give it a good water, leave it to settle in for a little bit and then I'll give it a good water before I go to work. But most importantly with tomatoes, a really, really good compost. If you've got a good compost, you're laughing. And you'll get lots and lots of produce. Anyway, I hope that helped and inspired you a little bit. A bit of maintenance. Good maintenance with tomatoes equals a really, really good crop. Take care, everyone. Oh, just had another one. <laughs> Bye.